welcome to zero entire this is again time to share one more video with you so today i am going to share a video which is based on the some zero chemical aspects that is the what are the different major elements trace elements rare earth elements that is the re volatiles and different types of isotopes so what are the major what are the major elements what are the trace elements what are the different rare earth elements what are the volatiles which are present in the magma of igneous rock what are the different isotopes and what is the use of these different elements for the geochemical analysis uh, answer the all the questions in this video so now what are the major elements the elements whose concentration is greater than 1 weight percent is called as major elements so normal major elements are uh, which are constitute igneous rock that is the sio2 tio2 Al2O3, Fe2O3, FeO, MnO, MgO, CaO, uh, Na2O, K2O, and P2O5. So these are the major elements which are present in the igneous rock. So major elements chemistry is the basis of classification of, uh, and nomenclature of igneous rock, and used to understand the fractionation process that is the MgO, Mg hash, the ratio of MgO. MgO plus FeO molecular proportion or SiO2 can be used as an indicator of the different differentiation of the magma. The first two parameters decreases and the latter increases with the differentiation of the magma. So therefore, these major elements are very very important. Major elements are utilized to deceive different igneous rock series such as tholitic. We can say that Fener series. Calc alkaline series or it is called as Bowen series and alkaline series. When we have to decipher different igneous rock, so on the basis of uh, these three uh, series, we can identify what type of rock is there. So therefore, uh, these major elements are very very useful to identify such uh, igneous rock series. For the fine grain and glassy rocks, the major element chemistry of the rock is utilized to calculate possible minerals that could have crystallized from the magma. This is proposed Cross, Eddings, Pearson, and Washington, and designated as CIPW norms. The normative mineralogy is very useful for the classification of rock and also utilized as recrystallization. So, utilized as crystallization differentiation indicators major element chemistry can also be utilized to locate the source region of the basaltic magma from where magma generates by using phase equilibrium projections such as cmas projection that is we can say that ohara projection and mgfe projection that is called as hansen and langmuir projection on the basis of this we can locate the source region of the particular magma Second type that is the trace elements. So trace elements whose concentration or whose composition is less than 0.18 percent. So those elements are called as trace elements in the geochemistry. Important trace elements in the igneous rocks are nickel, uh, chromium, cobalt. That is the scanadium, vanadium, uh, then strontium, barium, rubidium, zircon. Hafnium, Niobium, Tantalum, Uranium, Thorium, and Lead. These are the important uh, trace elements. The trace elements in igneous magmas are divided into two types. So one is the compatible elements and other one is the incompatible elements depending upon their affinity towards mineral or belt respectively. So now we will see the what are the different Uh, compatible elements or what is uh, compatible elements compatible elements are those which have affinity towards the mineral in other words we have mineral melt participant coefficient that is kd is greater than 1 those minerals are called as compatible elements nickel chromium and cobalt and rarely strontium are compatible elements in basaltic magma the concentration of compatible elements in primary magma depends on the depth of melting in the mantle and do not uh, change with the degrees of melting 
During fractional crystallization, these elements decreases rapidly in the residual liquids as they get removed by the uh, early form minerals. So those are called as compatible elements. Whereas incompatible elements are those which have affinity towards liquid that is melt means have lower mineral melt uh, participation participation partition uh, those we have means have lower mineral melt partition coefficient that is the kd is less than 1 incompatible incompatible elements are also known as magmatophile hygromagmatophile and large ion lithophile that is the lil elements some of the incompatible elements with high field strengths known as high field strength elements that is the hf se field strengths known as high field strength element that is the hf se they includes titanium niobium tantalum zircon hafnium uranium and thorium these are the generally incompatible elements incompatible elements concentration is primary magma is controlled by degrees of melting lower the degrees of melting higher the incompatible elements in the melt during fractionation incompatible trace elements increases in the residual liquids now we will see the what is the utilization of these trace elements in the geochemical analysis these trace elements are very very important to decipher degrees of melting and fractionation or to understand the degrees of melting and fractionation of the particular magma we can uh, on the basis of these trace elements we can identify then what is the source composition of this particular magma identification of fractionated mineralogy contamination of the magmas if any contamination is taken place in the magma on the basis of these trace elements we can uh, identify uh, what is exact contamination in the magma then disappearing tectonic environment so where this rock is formed what is the tectonic environment for the formation of rock on the basis of these trace elements we can identify now the next aspects that is the volatiles which are present in the magma so generally s2o co2 uh, o2 that is the b chlorium chlorine that is the cl f ch4 and n2 are the generally important volatiles which are present in the igneous rocks volatiles play a uh, very important and huge role in the stability of different mineral phases and control the crystallization sequence of the igneous magmas presence volatiles in the source may change composition of the males generated so that is the importance of these uh, volatiles now the next aspect that is the REE that is the rare earth elements the rare earth elements are trace elements but are designated as separate group due to their chemical cohesiveness REE are inner transition elements from atomic number 57 to 71 so REE includes LA to LU so these elements we can say that that is the REE elements RE are generally incompatible with basaltic magma and their incompatibility decreases from LA to LU. While interpreting the RE, they are normalized to chondrite, that is the meteorite. RE to overcome the Odo Harkins rule, chondrite is used to because it represents the bulk earth composition. RE are very useful in the interpretation of igneous rock origin. So RE are very very useful to decipher degrees of melting and fractionation what is source composition to know the source composition of the particular rock to know the identification of fractionated mineralogy of that particular rock and if any contamination is taken place in the magma on the basis of this re pattern we can identify those things the next aspect that is the isotopes so basically there are two types of isotopes one is the stable isotopes and second is the unstable isotopes so stable isotopes are oxygen sulfur and carbon and unstable are we can say that isotopes are rubidium strontium SMND, uranium lead thorium lead and potassium argon so these are the generally uh, stable and unstable isotopes 
Isotopic systems are extremely useful for interpreting the igneous rocks. Stable isotopes are useful to detect the sources and the unstable isotopes are useful to locating the sources, dating the rocks and detecting the crustal composition. So this is the importance of these isotopes. So this video is based on the uh, this uh, primary aspects of these uh, elements which are very very important in the um, geochemical analysis of the rock. If you like my video share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is Geo Entire All About Your.